Hi, Brent Tech here. We Tech is made simple. I posted a video in the beginning of April 2021 reporting that Microsoft Edge was going to be getting its own floating desktop search widgets. And this is just an update to that, to that video as I have recently spotted a couple of new changes and features to the search widgets. And now it's currently called the web widget and widgets in the Microsoft Edge Canary web browser. Now I have Edge Canary open on my desktop, which is a pre-release unstable version of Edge used for testing and experimenting. Now to access the web widgets, we just head up to our three dotted menu in the top right, settings, and in the settings on the left, previously the search widgets were found in the new tab page. Now they are no longer here and Microsoft has moved them. And I've seen recently that they now have their own menu called Web Widget in the settings menu in Microsoft Edge Canary. Now it says here, get search and personalized news anytime. View a personalized news feed and search your favorite websites right from your PC desktop using Web, web Widget. Web Widget lets you search and browse the web, see news headlines, check the weather and more without opening a full browser window. So this is a very similar and a lot like the news and interest feed, the taskbar widget that is now standard in the Windows 10 operating system and also now the uh, taskbar widget that is found in Windows 11 as well. Now there's a couple of settings here. You can automatically toggle this on to let the web widget uh, you know, pop up and start when you boot your PC up. And then if we just open the, the web widget, this is what it is. And you can actually toggle this around your, you know, you can move this around your uh, desktop. You can pin it to your desktop. If that is your type of thing, you can unpin it. You can actually go to settings and enable the floating widget. When you minimize it, you'll see now there is a floating widget that pops onto your desktop. And you know, you all have some options here, settings. You can actually close the widget. You can disable, enable floating widget. And then if you want your uh, web widget back, you just click on the widget and it pops it back. And then you have a couple of options here. You can have search only layout. Now, previously in my the first video I did on the search widgets, you had three layouts, but I see now they have uh, discontinued the other, you know, one of the layouts. Now you currently only have two, this layout, the search layout, and then the vertical layout. And let's just reactivate vertical layout, which I prefer. And as you can see, you can search the internet, your uh, Microsoft Edge straight from the widget, you know, just like your news and interest feed, you have your weather, your top stories, your news headlines, and so on. And then you also have the option, just like in the uh, taskbar widget, you can like, give emojis, you can uh, save for later. You have a whole lot of different options. You can uh, more stories like this, fewer stories, harder story, and so on. So as I mentioned, it's very similar to the news and interest feed. And then, you know, yeah, you can uh, personalize where it takes you to Microsoft Edge, where, you know, in your discover interests, news, entertainment, lifestyle, and so on, just like the news and interest feed, you are able to, you know, obviously personalize that to your own choice. Now, we also have the option to change your language and then you can actually refresh the feed, which is up, which updates your news feed. And then you can also see more, which opens Microsoft News in the Microsoft Edge web browser. So, you know, I don't know how actually handy this is going to be with um, now that we have the uh, taskbar uh, news and interest feed in Windows 10 and also the taskbar widget in Windows 11. But this is something that uh, Microsoft has been working on. As I say, I posted my first video in the beginning of April and I've noticed, as I've mentioned in the last couple of days, that it has its own new section under the settings menu. So this is obviously something that Microsoft is still working on and it's still early days. And then obviously, um, you know, this could make its way down to a stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser in the not too distant future. But as I mentioned, I don't know what purpose it's actually going to serve having you know, the taskbar widgets in Windows 10 and 11 that already carry those news and interests feed. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.